All right then, now we can go back into Visual Studios. Once again, find your new project. Right click, notice uh, because we entered in all of those resource paths, now we have all of the game references. Right click on SF Tutorial and we are going to add a new folder. This is necessary for all Unreal scripts. We need to name it Classes. Okay, once you've created your classes folder, right click on the class of folder and add a new item. This new item will be an Unreal script file and we're going to call it, as you might have guessed from these configuration files, SF Tutorial Info. Add that. And now we're going to edit it really quickly. Basically, this is the script that uh, our game is going to call whenever it opens, so we want it to extend UT Deathmatch. So it'll have all of the functionality of a deathmatch plus whatever we put into it. This is going to be a super sort of bare bones script that uh, just essentially a placeholder, but we're going to make a function start match. Super UT game dot start match. So basically, all this is going to do is start the game. All right, we're going to go back into classes, go to add new item. Once again, an Unreal script, and this time we're going to name this SF Player Controller 1R. Okay, once again, this is fairly basic. This time, instead of extending the game type, we want it to extend UT Player Controller. So basically, this is going to have all of the normal controls for a player in Unreal, plus whatever we decide to give it. We're not going to decide to give it very much, to be honest. Uh, basically, why don't we just say name equals default. Now here we need two underscores, SF player controller. That's about all that's needed. Let's save Okay, we should have all of the pieces in place. So let's try doing a build. Build solution. This can take a little while the first time, so I'm going to pause. Okay, so it looks like the build succeeded without any errors, so now let's go up here and try to debug. This should run udk.exe, and it should load the test level that we created earlier. Excellent. Now notice that we have a default HUD over here. What we're going to try to do is overwrite that default HUD 